Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support, believing in yourselves as well as I'm believing in me as well. And just sending loving vibes towards people that truly need it and, you know, uh, being faithful and prayed up through this crazy journey. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And also, if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and head you toward the positive direction. And, and if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you good vibes, and you need to uh, share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, that is currently going through you know trying times right now please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support that you're giving me it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um today my video is about twin flame 101 going through pain helps you oh help you focus but let me tell you what meditation I'm listening to because I really love this so put me in a calm spot. Um manifesting your golden reality. So liminal sleeping program for powerful thought transformation. Now, obviously that's the reason why I put me in good mood. <laughs> so uh going through yeah going through pain helps helps you stay focused. Y'all <laughs> When I was on my little hiatus for the last, what is it, day? Day or two. Yeah, for a day. Um, Really going through stuff, you know, and it's just like, it's really been hard, you know. Um, just feeling all these different feelings and emotions. Because like I told you um, the other day, when the dimension is starting to fold, it's like every single impact is having all their energy sucked up out of it. Going towards the universe, coming right back to the point where our our energy is so powerful from the dimension is starting to fold up in different like different dimensions and dimensions that haven't even been acknowledged yet you know I see all these different things just fold and it looks like a looks like Tetris te te Tetris that that Atari whatever that is Tetris you know it's all you know folded up like that and I was just like wow because I'm getting these visions for it and I've been seeing all these empaths like this like they look like robots it would look really crazy to me and you just seeing all the energy just getting sucked up and i'm seeing the world just turning while all the energy is coming up and you see all the lights in the world is representing all the impasse in the world so it's making us go through all these different things where it's bringing up old old painful memories of emotions that are, make you feel like you're going through dread or a little bit of the dark night of the soul as well so it's, it's just like i was getting really emotional and it had triggered me to you know basically relive everything that me and my dad has went through that i went through with my stepmom and my adopted dad it was like all these different things i'm just like i'm tired of dealing with this you know i don't want to deal with it no more you know i'm letting go and i thought i did let everything go but there was still some things that i forgot all about but it, it was just basically we had to deal with it you know, and it's just like when you get to that point where you're ready to give up, and I was at that point again, because I just went through this, through this a few days ago, it was just like, because I guess it's like me going through this, and my dad's anniversary is like in almost two weeks, I think, uh, yeah, it'll be like, yeah, almost two weeks. Um, and going through all that, that was kind of hard to deal with. So it was just like going through all these different changes and emotions. It's like you had to go through that. And, you know, it was like I had to stay focused. I got up this morning. I said I refused to feel like I did yesterday because it's like people were, you know, uh, texting me left and right. I just had to ignore everything because I was like not in the mood to talk to anybody. 
you know, um, because I don't, when I'm like that, I don't want to project that off anybody because everybody that was hitting me up was an empath. They're like, uh-uh, talk to you later or just ignored it because it was just like people were picking up on my energy and, you know, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> I don't, I, I keep that to myself. I don't, mm-mm, because if I, I'm like that, I will ignore any kind of, you know, text message. You know, it's, it, if it's like an extreme emergency, that's the only way I will intervene with that. But other than that, mm-mm. But it's just like when you go through all these different things that you're going through in life that, you know, as your spiritual awakening, whatever that is, that, you you know, they don't, woke, you know, woke you up into that serious energy that had you recognize everything that you had in your life, every gift you had in your life, every purpose that you're here for, it brings up a lot of emotions. So it's just like going through all these things. It will help you stay focused <laughs> because it's just the fact is you, you you can get to that point like I can't deal with this anymore I'm done you know if they want to win they win but then it's just like if something you know there's something that you cannot go a day without thinking about and you're just in that mood of despair like you're just so tired of going through it and yes God and universe know you're tired of going through it they sympathize with that but that's the reason why you have to go through it so you can be able to face whatever is you know still left in there whatever residue is still in your body whatever trace of sadness trace of pain is making you focus all on that so you can be able to let it go because you have so many big beautiful things coming towards you that when you when you experience all these things it's not there to hurt you it's not there to make you go through depression or despair and that's why I was going through all yesterday I, I mean when I said I was feeling everything I was feeling everything I know y'all have got to that point at times where you feel everything and it's just like you tired you get tired of feeling that way so it was like I know I was telling myself you know everything happens for a reason yes it's a hurtful feeling to know that your dad's anniversary is coming up but you have to stay strong you never know what's going to go on you know you don't know what what tomorrow brings until tomorrow gets here so i can't be worried about you know what's going on on the 21st but it was just i guess last year that triggered i think yeah it was last year when they sit up here and put my dad's death photo on tv and i was so pissed about that you know i was just like y'all have no com compassion for him you know let, allow him to rest in peace and that's not resting in peace because y'all are picking and probing and stuff so it was just like i know that triggered off so it was just like okay you can't think about that you know even though if those jackasses wanted to sit up here and put that on tv which they know they shouldn't have you know don't allow that if you have to be dealing with all that stuff just cut everything off so it's just like that would be that one day i will not look at anything so it's just like going through that i know my dad doesn't want me to remember him like that and i know that he's always telling me i hate that you saw that picture i really hated that and i'm just like i don't know he's like i don't understand why they had to do that but i hate that you had to see that out of all things i was like yeah because he was like that wasn't how i wanted you to picture me or remember me by seeing me dead right in front of my elevator so it was like going through all that and i'm just like okay you gotta stay strong you know you're doing a good thing here <laughs> so it's, it's just like had to go really go through those emotions yesterday and it gets hard especially if you know you have lost a parent you know that that you know that that when that day comes up you dread it throughout that whole week you think about that situation all over again so it just brought up a lot of memories that you know i have to face and melt away and it made me face them yesterday and i said today is that day i'm not dealing with the bs anymore you know i'm done with that everything has happened to me has helped me grow everything that was dished out at me and said about me has made me stronger and not allowing to you know basically you know what people said about me that's not what i am you know my my folks bad mouth talk to me anybody that will listen so it's just like whatever they said about you it don't matter these are the things that they're you know they're pushing out towards people for them not to be able to see the good in me so it's just like if you keep it real you wouldn't have to worry about stuff like that so i was just like i can't worry about the things that they said because they're no longer in my life they're not existent to me i just have to pray for folks like that so going through all these different emotions this made me stay focused <laughs> it made me stay focused to the higher extent and basically saying i'm not going to give up this was just a test from darkness and as well as the universe as well for, you know, the, the test of darkness had my ego speaking to me. 
the universe had me looking at it in a different perspective and I'm really grateful for that because it was just like yes look at all these things you went through this didn't break you but it made you because it, it, it almost broke you for all the sense that you knew you had to find out almost a lot of stuff just in that one one period of finding out who your parent was then all of a sudden all these memories come fluttering back at all you know one piece by piece it was a whole bunch of stuff that came down at me at one time of finding out all the truth and then when all it's like that veil came off all the memories came back so that was a lot to deal with but that has strengthened me because if I can sit up here and tell you this and just basically say this made me stay focused because I'm not going to allow my parents to win this. I'm not going to allow anybody else that had their grubby hands on this win this. I'm going to keep pushing. You know, because I have a lot to live for. I'm doing a really good thing by making videos all the time. Being able to help others see the things they can't see themselves. Able to help myself see the things I didn't see myself. This, you know, this, my, confident, my confidence is already off the roof when it comes to stuff like this because I know what I speak but it's just like you know what somebody does say something I was just like no it's not the fact that I don't have confidence in myself it's just when universe comes to the off the wall things I'm like you want me to say what you want me to speak on what are you serious I'm like okay you know because it does you know it sounds crazy but I, I believe in myself I truly do I believe in what I do I believe that I'm helping a lot of people along the way but it's just like when you go through things and the universe and darkness is like playing hand in hand basically but the universe is doing it for a positive reason darkness is doing it for a negative reason to have you give up so you always have to go with the good knowing that they're making you face these things because these are the things you need to let go of these are the things you need to release because it should not have an effect on you anymore you know you can't stop your memory from going but you can control how you think about it control the emotions you know when when it comes to about like okay this happened but look how far you came you know yes this happened you know these people put you in this certain situation and people put you in that certain situation but you're able to heal from that so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video I missed y'all but I had to do some self-care and really get do that like I told y'all when I'm in that dark mode I don't I don't do videos so I just didn't want to spread that off to anybody but my post notification shot out let me see who Oh, excuse me. Let me give a shout out to today. All uh, all, all P, I think I underscore one. I, I hope I, it's kind of like Paul, Paul or something like that, but it's backwards. So my bad if I, if I didn't pronounce it right. Treasure season and Silky J eighty six. <laughs> Much love to you, and I hope y'all stay blessed. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. Oh yeah, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell and drop me a line as well. And hit the bell. Uh, peace. I'll see you later.